When you go see a fertility specialist, the first thing they do is tell you that you're broken. Then they tell you your options. All in, we've borrowed and spent $102,000 trying to get pregnant. We've officially stopped trying. Can't park here. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but she can't find her license. Did you, did you check your pockets? Yeah, I checked my pockets. Oh, it's a $75 ticket. Okay, what, what do you want me to do about it? No need to be such a dick. I got it. I got it. I got it. So you're just gonna be working? Yeah, pretty much. We got a call with Sullivan on Monday to finalize things. I hope. At least, you know, Ethan thinks so. It's good. Yeah, yeah well, we'll see. What's this one called again? Breakthroughs and Miracles. Breakthroughs and Miracles. Well, that sounds good. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, uh, I'm picking you up on Sunday at 6, right? 6.30, I think. I'll text you. Stay flat. Bye. person I can be. I haven't seen my grandbabies in seven years. Well, and I'm also going to write a TV show. Overall, more confidence around work and dating. How about you? I want to have a baby. I guess I'm looking for reassurance. Like, am I doing it right? Because I've been reading your books, and I don't see things changing. I don't know. Like, I'm even more unhappy. Are you following the curriculum on a daily basis? Yes. I, I try to, at least. Well, OK, good. But don't you find that when you practice the distinctions, when you choose to take a moment to do the work, when you actually take the action, don't you find that your life feels different that day? Yes. But I also find sometimes I'm like, like, I get these thoughts, like, it's not working. Well, I Jessica, if you've read the material, you know that any time you are thinking about the past or the future, instead of being open to the infinite number of possibilities in the moment, then you can't be happy. And I know that this is hard to hear. But it is not a matter of the glass being half empty or half full. The glass is full of what it's full of. And that's it. You know, it's that simple. So, Jessica, well, first of all, is anybody getting anything from this? Ah, uh, look, you see that? Are you going to participate fully this weekend? Yes. Are you going to do the homework? Yes. Thank you, Jessica. Anybody else? Come on up. Hi, Abby. Everybody? Abby. Mm. 
Hi. <laughs> Everyone, um, Sarah Linda. Um, my name is Abby, and uh, um, I'm a little nervous. And I just want to say, Jessica, when I see you up here, I just, I see myself a year ago. Man, um, you just keep creating the life that you see in front of you, it's, it's coming. So what's coming up for me right now is that I, I keep letting this, this all pervasive need to be perfect just run my life. And my past says that there's something wrong with me and it, it, it's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> mm, good. <laughs> All right, so coming from nothing here on day one, what are you a stand for? Yeah, um, that there's nothing wrong with me. That there's nothing wrong with me. I came here this weekend to be in action, and I'm a stand for creating a miracle. Yes! Thank you, Abby, thank you. And everyone, I just want you to know, being a stand does not mean fixing what's wrong. It means being open to the miracle that will present itself. Thank you, Abby. Next, over there. Can I get you something? I think there's a coffee maker. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thanks. Do you have to come far? 15 minutes or so. You don't live here, right? Where, where are you in from? I'd rather not say. Is that okay? <laughs> of course. Yes, totally. Okay, so here is the paperwork from my last doctor's visit about three weeks ago. Clean bill of health, no STDs. Uh, my sperm count was at 200. Motility is A-rated, meaning they're good swimmers. And the shape was normal to good. OK. It's good. Yeah, I guess I kind of have, like, super sperm or something. So when was your last ovulation test? This morning. I did it a couple times, actually. Nothing yet, but it should be this weekend. OK. Schedule-wise, I'll leave you with sample one tonight. I'll come back tomorrow for two, and then Sunday for the third. And hopefully, you'll be ovulating by then. Yes. Now, are you still considering NI? Um, yeah. I'm still considering. No problem. Uh, just so you know, what feedback I have gotten, it seems my success rate goes up with my NIs. But it's whatever you're comfortable with. Do you do that a lot? Have sex with your clients? A few. How many? 30. Well, I guess I'll just let you know. OK. Well, I just need a few minutes then. Oh, here, I've... Perfect. You're married, right? I'd rather not say. Yes, yeah. Actually, we've done two IUIs, and then the doctor suggested 
We do IVF, of course. Did that four times. Didn't work. My parents paid for the last one. My husband's sperm count is low. My eggs are 39 years old. I don't know. That's why I'm here. Actually, it did work one time. First time that we did IVF, I got pregnant. It lasted about two weeks. And then I got this phone call saying that we were gonna just let it pass. And we started trying again right away. Everyone always says, just relax. Stop trying. I have these friends. They can get pregnant forever. They just decided to adopt and then they got pregnant. I want to punch you in the fucking face. He doesn't know that I'm doing this. Well, let's get you pregnant. OK, perfect. So you'll definitely want to do this as soon as I leave. But look, give yourself some prep time. Warm up, do some yoga, uh, put on some music. You may want to masturbate a little bit. Get your body and spirit in a more authentic place, you know? And then do it. OK. And uh, just in case your egg does drop tonight, don't shower until the morning. And then I'll be back tomorrow for number two around 8 o'clock. Can we do 9? Sure. 9 o'clock. Hey, do I look like him? You my husband? Yeah. No. I picked you because you look like me.
All right, everyone, and switch. Switch to the next person in your group. Uh, it's my turn, I guess. Um, I'm Jim. Hi. Jim. Hello, Jim. Hi. Anyway, you guys will all be in my kindergarten class. I'm five years old, and, uh, well, I'm going to be doing show and tell, and that's when I wet my pants in front of the class. So that will be my it moment, okay? So, to recreate that, I guess you should, um, well, you know, uh, point at me, laugh at me, I guess, kind of, uh, you know, whisper, you know, like to each other and just say terrible things behind my back, because that's kind of what happened. So, hey, everybody, um, for show and tell today, I brought my brand new red fire truck. It's something that my mom and dad got me. So, now there's a chubby real estate guy in front of me pretending to wet his pants. This is exactly what I thought it was going to be. So, for my birthday, my mom and dad... And there's the goth girl from middle school who's here to get over her daddy issues. Which one are you? Me? I'm the... Uh, the cynical gay guy that came to support his ex-boyfriend who's got his own daddy issues. I hear you, I see you, and I am being with the communication that you are giving me. I'm the control freak married woman who's trying hard to validate her life and save her marriage by having a baby. Okay, everyone, time's up. How you doing? Good, great. Now, we're going to be on our dinner break, but before we do, I want you to pick a partner. Now, during this long break, be in communication with your loved ones. Call them. Share where you have been inauthentic. And clean that up. Jeff? Okay, everyone. The time is 7.05. This is your dinner break. H how do you know he isn't like a, a psychopath or like has AIDS or? There's hospital. You guys all finished? Thank you. There's hospital paperwork. It's all legit. It's a, it's a website like match.com, except for free sperm donors. And your husband has no idea? No idea. It's called NI, natural insemination, and he has sex with me to get me pregnant. And this is a thing? Oh, it's a thing. I haven't decided whether I'm going through with it yet or not, but it's a thing. Well, Abby, Jesus, I hope it all works out for you. So how does all this, this deception and such follow in line with Sarah Linda? What do you mean? I mean that as much as I think this weekend is all a bunch of culty bullshit, you seem to be really into it. I saw you up there yesterday, you like this stuff. It works for me. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Okay, so I got my first period when I was 12, and it scared the shit out of me. So my mom that night took me aside, she said, it's a, it's a beautiful sign of God's promise that he's just preparing you for motherhood. Promised. Abby? Hey. Hi, I'm Derek. Ryan. Nice to meet you. You too. Are you here for the conference too? Yeah, uh, we're just doing some homework. Excellent. I can't believe I found you here. I, I texted and called a couple no, times. I didn't get left anything. a message. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I did. It's just my schedule changed last minute. So, you have a second? I'm so sorry. I try my best to respect the schedule, but this was just unavoidable. So I didn't know what to do. I was gonna leave this at the front desk. Or I could come back tonight for an NI. Are you, are you ovulating? Not yet. Is this fresh? Yes, and I also mixed in a little bit of TYB, just in case, which makes it last for 48 hours, so you're good. But I wouldn't wait. Okay, okay. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, great. Listen, I really have to run. Sorry, but uh, tomorrow my schedule's pretty clear. Just text me whenever you're ready, okay? All right, great. Good luck. Ryan, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. So what's in the bag?
Hey. Hey. What you doing? Sleeping. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm running late for this session, and, and I have homework to do, which is why I'm calling you. OK. Well, I'm supposed to call somebody close to me and tell them about an area in my life where I've been inauthentic. So I'm calling you. OK. Well, I guess I just wanted to say that I'm sorry about the whole pregnancy thing. I know that we decided to stop trying. I, I don't think I know how. I mean, I really, I really want to be able to let it go. But I have a hard time believing that I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, that's OK. Seen our baby in my dreams. Hey, it's okay. I mean, uh, this is gonna take time, right? It just means that we're gonna have to try hard to not try. Okay. I mean, this weekend is all about manifesting what you want in life. And I think the real breakthrough that I'm getting is that I can stop being attached to the outcome and start being committed to a possibility. Uh, I'm not sure I get what you're saying. I, yeah, I know. Um, I just mean that I want to stop trying. Okay. Okay. So, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, I'll pick you up. Just uh, text me when you land. Okay. I love you. I love you too. I, I gotta go, I'm running late. Okay. Okay, bye. Before we get started, I want to congratulate you for getting on the court, for playing it with all you've got, and I want you to know that you generated this course, not me. You might not know that, but you are leading with your actions, with the conversations that you're having with the people in your life. So way to go, way to get your money's worth, <laughs> and way to make this weekend work for you. So. Who wants to share? All right, good. I like this energy. Okay, Jessica, good. And back there. All right, so who's first? Jessica, okay, come on. Look at you. Wow, something's changed, huh? Look at her, people, am I right? Well, I called my boyfriend last night, and yes, I still hadn't called him until last night. I don't know, I was just so scared to talk to him. And what did he say? Hello. <laughs> okay, and then what did you say? Hey babe, I wanna let you know that I've been inauthentic. And then I said, I'm sorry I've been such a bitch the past few weeks, but the reason is that I'm pregnant. <laughs> he didn't say anything, just quiet. But I knew he was still there, I could hear him breathing. And then I realized that he was crying. And he said that he loved me and that he would support me in whatever I wanted to do, but that he would love to have a baby with me. So I guess I'm having a baby. <laughs> See people? I mean, I got that when I consider the moment rather than the past, it allows for something new in the future. A miracle.
I... Um, does Derek live here? I'm, I'm sorry, I think I'm at the wrong house. Can I help you? I... It's okay, honey. I've got it. What the fuck are you doing here? I'm sorry, I should probably go. No, I don't understand. Why are you here right now? I'm ovulating. Right now, there's an egg in there. How did you find where I live? I saw your address on the receipt in the box that you gave me last night, and I just, I just decided to come. I come to you. Yes. There are rules to this game. You don't just decide to do this. I mean, there's a reason why we stay anonymous. Lots of reasons. I'm so sorry. I didn't. Abby, look. I really hope you get what you want. Bye, darling. Being a Stan doesn't mean fixing what's wrong. It means being open to the miracle that will present itself. From nothing, every possibility exists for me to create what I want. Action, integrity, results. I choose to create love, happiness, and motherhood. Wolves wait at your door for your permission. Slightly, you invite them on one condition. They